Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I want to show you a little ninja trick with one of these HP or any other machine like this you know like the office machines the ones that you get for really really cheap because they're not fast enough for their office use anymore but there's a couple of ninja hacks that you can do to these machines to make them quite a bit faster the first one is actually to get a machine like this very often the machine comes with a very slow CPU and you can buy a CPU that is two, three times faster for next to nothing. So you start by getting the cheap ass machine here and exchanging the CPU. And when you've done that, you can even increase the speed of that CPU by quite a bit. This machine that I have here is running a Q6600. That's a quad-core CPU on the Intel 775 socket and there is a good ninja hack that you can use on that. Let's, um, let's run a benchmark just um, to see where we started and um, do the ninja hack and see where we end. I'm just gonna film the screen and I have this um, performance test 8.0 that you can get if you go up to the website. Uh, let's not do that. We're just gonna test the, all the CPU stuff and see where we end there. And it's testing. There we are. We get a result of 3333. That's actually pretty nice. That's pretty good. Let's see what we have. I have a program here that will tell us what everything looks like. Uh, and there's an upgrade available. We're not going to go that way. See, we are running the front side bus at 1063 megahertz. I think this one is one of the numbers that we have to be aware of. Right there. So let's see the hack. Okay, remove the CPU. Just going to remove it cooling compound is the Q6600 and I've prepared a little piece of paper I have a whole entire line of those CPUs or there's a lot of holes in my collection but I do have some of them and we're gonna make the hack to this one so we need to turn it around and we need some tape and a scissor so the ninja hack is that if the CPU or the computer is not able to feel this leg and this leg. It will raise the front size bus up to 1.333 gigahertz. Right now it was 1066. So this one and that one, we need to cover with a little bit of tape. So I'm gonna take my trusty scissors here and I'm gonna cut a very thin piece of tape. What I found is that um, don't try too much just take it and cut and sometimes it will work sometimes it won't here is a nice piece I think so I'll put that on see if I can cover that leg first trouble is that it much rather want to stick to my fingers than the CPU. And when it's on, I'll just cut the lift over like that. The next pin is a lot easier because it's um, kind of open there. I might have set that a little bit too early. There we are. We will try and put that back into the computer. Here we are. And I've of course opened the computer. Have to put the CPU in at the right orientation. That should be it. Close that down. Um, if the tape is not on right, well, you can just take it out and try again. 
and it will get a little bit of heating compound here and the CPU cooler back on. Okay, computer is back on, booted no problem whatsoever. So I think I got this right. I'm gonna test it, all the CPU stuff. And there we have it, 4113. That is quite an improvement, right? And let's just see the program here. Yeah, it's complaining it wants our permission and it will still find the new upgrade. Okay, and down here, the front side bus is now 1.329. So it has increased by quite a bit and it's still stepping down the CPU. Right now the CPU is at two gigahertz. Um, if we run the test again, all, we will see that this frequency goes up all the way to almost three gigahertz every time the CPU needs some more speed. So instead of 2.4 gigahertz, this processor is now running three gigahertz. That's awesome, right? So here are the numbers. 2.4 gigahertz and this is a quad core and 3.0 gigahertz and it, the benchmark went up from 33.33 to 41.13 and I just calculated that that's an increasing 23% awesome that was one processor down six more to go but that will be a different video this is an awesome way to get a little more power out of your otherwise retired workhorse 23% if you go and look at the newer processors just take the most expensive one you can find and then reduce that by 23% and see how much cheaper that one is you're actually getting quite some value out of this 23% you pay a lot for the last little bit I know most of you are on to faster than this this one is one of the next one that I'm gonna be testing in one of my next upcoming videos I'm very curious to see how much these different processes can be increased by doing this ninja trick. So I'm going to be continuing testing on my machine here. A little quick announcement to my trusty subscribers. I will be visiting London from the 10th to the 14th of August in just about 10 days. And um, I will be inviting you locals to um, go eat a pizza or something with me uh, doing that trip so if anyone is interested please go and uh, look at my google plus page because i will be trying to tell you all there what's going on but thank you very much for watching do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye